The CTA is facing a wrongful death lawsuit after a homeless passenger was beaten, allegedly at the hands of one of its employees. The man's family is speaking out today. Tia Ewing has their story. Tia? Well, Terrence and Sylvia, the man's name is Kevin Powell, and he was homeless and battling drug addiction when his family says he was attacked while in a wheelchair. The CTA worker was initially charged with aggravated battery, but after police reviewed the video, he was charged with two counts of first-degree murder and also some other charges. Kevin Powell's family says he was brutally beaten by former CTA worker Emmett Richardson March of last year on the platform at 150 West Congress Parkway. The video has not been released because of this ongoing investigation, but Powell's attorney says he was visibly disoriented when he was approached by the CTA worker that you see right there on your screen. And the attorneys also say that CTA worker shoved Powell down two flights of stairs, propped him up, and punched him some more, and then poured water on his head. Powell never defended himself, according to his legal team. His family says he battled with drug addiction. My brother Kevin was an amazing, wonderful person. He had a family that loved him. He has a name. His name is Kevin Powell. He wasn't some homeless man on the street. His addiction did not describe who he was. This CTA employee told the police, this was just a guy that OD'd. This is how I found him. So Richardson went home that night ended his shift and only when the police viewed the surveillance video and saw the savage beating were they able to learn that everything they were told by Richardson was a lie. Well, the CTA says they won't comment on pending litigation. The civil suit filed by Kevin Powell's family calls for a jury trial. Of course, we'll be watching that close, very close, that case very closely, Terrence. All right.